So we've seen several ways to create lists, but what can we do with lists once we have them? Well, we're going to look at three interesting things that you can do with lists. Um, randomizing the items in the list using the shuffle function from the random module. Sorting items on the list using the dot sort list method. And then pulling an item from a list using the choice function from, again, the random module. So let's take a look at how we can use these functions and methods. So here I am going to import the random module as R, and then I've created two lists to play with. So the first list, um, I was too lazy to do all 52 cards in the deck, but you can imagine this is Ace of Clubs, Two of Clubs, Jack of Clubs, Ace of Hearts, and so forth. So I've just randomly created some strings that represent cards. And then here's a string that represents the days of the week. <clears throat> so if I want to randomize the items on a list, then I can use the shuffle function from the random module. Um, for the shuffle function, the list that you're going to randomize gets passed in as the argument. Um, it does not have any return value because it actually works on the list that you pass into it. So it, it doesn't return something, it just does something. So let's go ahead and try that. If I take, um, first I have to run this to read in the random module, then I'll run this cell. And we can see that it has changed, it has randomized the order. If I run this again, I can see that I get a different set of cards each time. And it randomizes all the items that are on the list. Now, if I want to do sort of the opposite, instead of mixing them up, if I want to sort them out, I can use the sort list method. So uh, it is one of the built-in methods. I don't have to actually import anything for it. Since it is a method and not a function, I don't pass the string into the method. Instead, I attach the method onto the end of the string instance. And again, it does not produce any return value, but rather the method does something to the list itself. If I run this cell, you can see that now the days of the week are not listed in order, but rather they are listed in alphabetical order, with Friday as the first one in the alphabet and Wednesday as the last one. The last option here is to pick a single random item from a list. So again, we're using something from the random module we're going to use the choice function. In this case, the list that we want to pick from is passed into the function as an argument. And this time, instead of just acting on the list, it produces a return value, which is the single string or whatever the kind of thing it is that's on the list. So let's go ahead and run that. So first I had it print the list. And then I have it um, pick one of the days from the list. So you notice that if I keep running this, I get a different picked day from the list, but the uh, list itself does not get changed. <clears throat> 